A very, very good morning to you. Thank you very much for joining us here on a KTN News for Sunday edition, where we take a look at the biggest political stories that have made headlines throughout the week. Later on, I will be speaking to a panel as we dissect some of the biggest stories and some of the biggest political conversations we've had all week. My name is Akisa Wandera. I'll be taking you through the program, but first, let's take a look at the news highlights. All right, we start off from Ukambani, where Kitui Governor Dr. Julius Malombe says Lower Eastern Region will only vote for NASA if Kalonzo Musioka was picked as its flag bearer. The governor has, uh, however, was, however, quick to tell leaders from the area that they should accord Kalonzo genuine support and not just use his candidature to propel themselves into elective positions. According to Malombe, some leaders from Ukambani may not be given Giving Kalonzo genuine support, and he was uh, speaking in Ikwitha in Kitui South. We who reside in the area of Kenya known as Southeastern Kenya, we are supporting His Excellency Stephen Kalonzo Musyoka in his bid to be the NASA presidential candidate. <laughs> And we say we are happy other people who in the past have not been supporting Mweshmiwa Kalonzo, now they are coming and expressing their support for him. But we are saying this, if you are coming and expressing support for Kalonzo, we want you to be genuine. Atutaki kusikia saa mchana during the day unaonekana na Kalonzo. Saza jihoni, usiku usiku, unaonekana na wale wengine ambao wanashidana na e. West Pokot County Senator Professor John Lonyangapuo has asked the opposition to name their presidential candidate, saying that the country needs a credible opposition before the elections. He said it was unfortunate that NASA was taking so much time without naming a candidate, thus leaving the country in a dilemma. Lonyangapuo said it was a high time the opposition announced its candidate. Nikipata kumi na mwenzangu wapate miya mbili, nataka yende hivyo. Ati tunataka tuaribu. Unaribu na mwani? Nataka results. Iwe announced kutoka kwa kila polling station. Na iwe sign na agent yote kwa polling station. Uru kenyata hapate haki yake. Hapo hapo. Asidanganyo. Na asifanyue hila. Uyo governor pia? Hivyo hivyo. Na iwe transmitted wa simu chisi tukisikia yende kwa head kwa tabali wana count. Moving on, Jubilee aspirants in Busia County have vowed to capitalize on the current stalemate in ODM and capture all elective seats in the forthcoming elections. Addressing the media, the Jubilee County Brigade, led by the gubernatorial aspirant and immediate former NIB boss, engineer Dan Barasa, and party's county chairperson, Vincent Okochil, said the candidates were committed to deliver over half of the total votes to the ruling Jubilee Party and a number of other elective seats. They dismissed claims that the county was an opposition zone. We are doing very well. Uh, Odium is now on the back hill. Uh, plus uh, NASA, they are all on the back hill. And uh, how we are determined now to take over all the seats in Busia County come the next election. Mambo meningine ilikuwa mambo yetu sisi bini kibinafs kuwana vile tunaweza kufanya kazi. Kama wakana wakana jubili ndiyo tumalize upinzani kabisa katika account yetu ya busia. Ndiyo tuwe wajua busia tumekua watu wa serikali. Sipokuwa tu hii miaka mitano ndiyo tumetoka kwa serikali na tunataka turudi kwa serikali tena uchaguze ukisha mwezi wa nane. Jubili itabeba viti mingi wakati huu kwa sababu tunaona ukosefu yenye imetokea kwa sisi kukosa kuwa ndani ya serikali tumeona faida yenye wenzetu ambapo wako na wajumbe ambao wako upande wa serikali kwa hii county 
kama Teso South na Teso North wamepata faida mingi kusaidiwa and away from politics, today marks exactly two years after the deadly terror attack that killed 148 people, mainly students of Garissa University. To commemorate the day, a marathon was early this morning held at the institution. Now at the moment, an interfaith prayer is currently ongoing. Our reporter Hamza Yusuf now joins us from Garissa. All right, Hamza Yusuf will be giving us that report later on. Many thanks for joining us. Of course, we are now getting into that conversation on politics. Join us in a bit to take a look at some of the conversations we have, the bigger stories, how we are dissecting them as we head into the general election in exactly 127 days. This is Sunday edition. Don't go too far.